Okay. You can see how much money I make. I make a whole $60. Amazing. So you could help me make more by joining my Patreon for only $1. A little would go a long way because I do so much more work than $60 worth. But I want to show you, if you don't know what to make videos about, you can go to research now. And if you make videos about any of these things, they'll probably do well. Apparently, I should make videos about Amazon products. But do you see this over here? It says best 3.5 inch FPV drone. That is why we're always tempted to say things like this because they're the top searches, okay? So it's like if you're making content and you don't use titles like this, you're missing out on those top searches. And when you make videos that people are not looking for, you're basically like not going to get as many views. And you know, it's all about the views because it's just like even making videos almost every day. Look at that. Look at that. $60. Is that worth it? Is my work worth $2 a day? You can you can change that. And there's something else you can do. Some of you are very good and you deserve praise. So I praise you for uh, for coming back and being wonderful. But 75% of you have been very, very naughty. Look, you're coming and you're viewing me without even subscribing. It makes me feel cheap and used. So you, you should... Uh, Join my Patreon for just $1 to make me feel valuable, because I think I'm worth at least $1, okay? <laughs> and subscribe right now if you're not, okay? Okay, on with the video. What are you waiting for? Do it! Just do it! Yes, you can! Just do it! I have to do my Tupac today, but it seems like it might rain, so I'm hoping it doesn't. We're getting out the good old analog. The good old analog. Because I don't know, I have the itch to like just rip. Yeah. And you can rip the best on analog. It doesn't look as pretty, but it feels, it feels good. Today's another one of those days where I'm gonna do something I've always wanted to do. That I've always been a little bit scared of. I don't want to get stuck up there, but I do want to rip it, so let's do it. <laughs> I'm sitting here at a bench right like in the middle of the sidewalk, so that's always fun. Well, hello there. Today you're getting the best of both worlds. The first pack we're going to talk about, the second pack you're going to enjoy with music. Win-win. Oh my goodness, we're starting off by almost hitting a bird. I do have to say, today was a rather windy and cold day, and I flew some old packs that I found that seemed to work, but the cold weather may be destroying them, and it told me that my battery was low even though I fully charged it, so that was kind of stressful. Especially when you're flying around the street with all the cars and you don't want to get stuck in the top of Notre Dame. No, we don't want that at all. And this is a 45 degree angle, so here you can see the difference. <laughs> when I fly my uh, O3 discus, it's not as hard to control. I can actually, like, it was weird because usually I feel like when I get on analog, it's so exciting and I have, like instant control but flying today i kind of missed my o3 discus also this weighs 220 grams and the o3 discus only weighs 200 grams and you know when you just fly two packs it's like not enough to really get warmed up but we did go through the thingy so that made me happy mission accomplished also when I did the CN Tower with this, is was less breakup than today. But mind you, it's like a big building full of concrete cement. So, <laughs> uh, going into... Oh, we're not going into land yet. What else do we say? Um, sorry, it's not the most exciting. <laughs> uh, my wife is listening to me and it's causing me stress. It's vexing me. It vexes me. But in the next pack, we will power loop it. We tried to power loop it, but we just went up in the air and did nothing. Uh, what else? I'm nervous and anxious. I don't know what to say. Yeah, very good. I'm not narrating the next flight. You can watch it. And then I realized, oh, it's a building. I can dive it, even though it's a very sad little dive. 
or just continuing to fly through the hole and try to get used to how it feels. But it's it's drones cover such a large space so quickly, so it seems like a good idea, and then you pull out your racing drone, or like your drone with a forty five degree angle, and it's like, oh, I feel like I can't do nothing. But this is fun. I like doing that. <laughs> I'm sitting right in front of it too, so it's like imagine if I flew through it from the backside and then it crashed and flew out and hit me in the face. It's a it's a possibility. Anyways, later you're going to see a little accident and uh, no harm was done. I have bumpers on my drone and I believe I hit the bumper of the truck. It's very windy and cold. And I forgot to stop the recording on the run cam, so I hope it's still there. 